Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Lights out. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Florianopolis, Brazil, Alcantara! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round one. I couldn't even get my wife a ticket to this fight. Why? Because this fighter has won the majority of his recent fights by knockout. Flush KOs. People want to see this guy compete. He's not out there for the judges. He's not afraid to give up a round. He's not afraid to take a shot on the chin to land one of his own. And that's why he's become one of the more popular fighters in this division. We'll see if he can get another knockout here tonight and work his way towards his first UFC title shot. And they both stand up. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, blocks the shot. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense. Oh, can't do that soccer, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got to the plane, started manipulating the body, and the moment his opponent took a misstep, boom, tripped him right over the top. Great job. Pretty good execution on that, looking for a guillotine. from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Down into his mouth. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 
90 seconds now to go in this one. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Nice stick with the right hand. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. Second round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Now the guy's got armbar, he's attacking it on him. the midway point of the fight. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to take off over here. Finish here. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit, right? No lack of effort, but unable to get that submission in the previous round. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic, which allows him to defend with the right frame of mind, and that's why he's never been submitted. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you... This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent up and going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Out of range with that kick attempt. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he 
He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's gotta start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advantage. If you're on the bottom, you gotta anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a shoot. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is out. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! way with him here. Hey, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had an official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we're going to judge the judges scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 29-28.